Britain, 1968. The newly franchised commercial TV syndicates were getting into their stride with enormous investments into colour TV technology. Yet amid the expansive new array of electronic equipment were some startling gaps. There were no solid state power amplifiers designed for professional audio use, a job that was typically handled by modifying hi-fi amplifiers. Mike Harrison, an electronic engineer, identified this requirement and formed HH Electronics from his premises on the outskirts of Cambridge, UK. This tiny, unknown company sold their famous TPA amplifier to nearly every TV studio in Britain, in addition to many recording studios. Around 1970, the world's biggest and most respected broadcasting company, the BBC, had published stringent specifications for a new amplifier. HH Electronics took up this challenge and 18 months later, finally won this prestigious and coveted contract with their AM812 amplifier. Since then, thousands have been used by the BBC and almost every other major broadcasting corporation throughout the world. At that time, the booming hi-fi market was already well established, but the field of live music held greater opportunities for innovation. Pop fans of the early 70s were used to studio quality sound from their records, but found it missing during live performances. So HH started to design solid state guitar amplifiers, bass amplifiers and PA systems. Musicians soon recognised HH Electronics as a company that set new standards for their market as their range of products grew to create lightweight, low cost, expandable systems that were every bit as good as the superstars tailor-made rigs. HH Electronics went from strength to strength and soon had a list of high-profile artists on their roster, from T-Rex, touring with a VS musician and bass machine amplifiers, to Pink Floyd, who first toured the USA using the HH Electronics Concert PA system, powered by V800 amplifiers, and using the HH Frequency Dividing Network, now more commonly known as a crossover. One of the most noticeable amplifiers in HH history is the MA100 PA head, this broke the mold for professional audio systems at the time, bringing the HH-developed MOSFET technology into a compact, powerful, multi-channel head with sturdy HH enclosure and iconic green electroluminescent front panel, which became a trademark for the brand. The relationship with the BBC continued well into the 1990s, with many HH products still seen in studios and on stages to this very day. HH Electronics moved from Cambridge to Birmingham, UK and became part of the Headstock Group in 1989. I am James Laney and I am the CEO of Headstock Group. Um, Headstock Group is several things. It's a distribution business of musical instrument products for the UK and Ireland. Um, it's the owner of Laney Amplification since 1967 and also since 1989 it's the owner of HH. HH is Headstock Group's professional audio brand um, that we're very proud of. Um, we design and engineer all our products right here where I'm standing in the UK. Um, fantastic team of experienced professional acoustic and electronic engineers for pro audio products. HH has a background in all kinds of audio products going way back to the 1960s. Our emphasis today and for the future is in two main areas. It's in live sound and within that line array product, but also portable PA, and then also install product, install speakers and all the things that go with that. These are the two areas of, of most expertise for us. We've got probably several hundred years of experience across the team um, working on those products. Um, and so we want to be specialised in those categories. From 1968 to today, the original vision for HH Electronics remains unchanged, with HH Electronics still developing innovative audio systems from within Headstock Group UK. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit www.headstockgroup.com.
hhelectronics.com.